welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today we are going to make my favorite craft of all time. Today we are going to take fresh cranberries and we're going to make homemade candles with them. Ever since I was a little girl I loved making candles and always liked finding new ways to make new different kinds of candles. I like to think this is the first time that you will ever see fresh cranberries made into a beautiful candle because I invented this many many years ago in fact it's almost been 30 years now so I'm going to show you how you can take fresh cranberries and make them into a beautiful candle so the first thing we're going to do is I take these cappuccino cups now you want to make sure you have a cup that can hold very hot liquids and these little cappuccino cups are going to be our molds now we're not going to reuse these, we're going to actually tear the cup away after the candle is finished. But this is what I use, it makes it very simple, makes it very easy, and it makes a beautiful candle. I have wax adhesive that I get at the thrift store, and I do use this if I have it. I don't always have it, but this is going to really make a difference with keeping your wick straight and keeping your wick in the center of your cup. So the first thing we're going to do is, the only wicks I have are this long, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to demonstrate one, how I do one cup, and that way, I'll, that way you can see and I can speed up the process of this video. We take a little bit of the wax. You can also use dental wax as well. Put it on the bottom of your clip, and we're going to put the clip right in the middle of your cup. And that is going to hold it in place so when we pour the wax, it's in place. I'm going to do that to all of these cups and then I'm going to show you the next step in this beautiful candle making process. Alright, so I'm going to show you, I already cut these wicks in half because they were too long. But for 25 cents, I got some of these clips at the uh, thrift store. And every time I see something candle making, I always buy it at the thrift store because candle making supplies can be expensive. So all I did is I make my own, see? So keep a lookout for things like this. For 25 cents, I'm able to make another 12 of these. All right, so we have a bunch of these made. Usually when I make candles, I make a whole bunch at one time. So I'm gonna show you the step that we do next. So the way these cranberry candles are gonna be is they're gonna be mostly white, and then we're going to have some wine colored wax on top. And I have an old candle in here that no longer you can light it. So we're going to use that as the red maroon topping. But the first we're going to do is we're going to take some wax. This is soybean wax that I was able to get off of eBay. This is the first year I'm not able to get any free candle wax. And so I'm very disappointed in that, but this wax will go a long way. What we're going to do is we're going to melt it in a kettle like this with a little water in it. Make sure you use a kettle that you don't use for food purposes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slowly melt this wax. You want to have it on medium to low and it could take up to an hour for the wax to totally melt. But that's okay, we don't have it on high heat, we always have it on lower heat. So while the wax is melting, I'm going to show you how we incorporate fresh cranberries into this very unique candle. Is the fun part. While our wax is heating up, I'm going to show you what we do with the fresh cranberries. So here, my friends, are the fresh cranberries. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a handful of each and put in each little cup. Now, it doesn't matter how many you want, but this it's just better to do one small layer at the bottom of your cup. Just like that, my friends. That's what it looks like. I wouldn't advise using the whole cup because it won't burn as well. With coffee beans one time, it's very pretty to look at, but the burning, they would burn the coffee beans. Now yes, it will burn some of your cranberries if you let it go too long, but I've never had any, um, I've never had any fire or anything like that. But as always, when you light a candle and burn a candle, use your own discretion. So they're very pretty. They're very pretty to look at, even if you never do light it. So we're just gonna take a couple. I got these cranberries at the end of the holiday 
for 99 cents. And so we're just going to fill up our cups with a cup of them. The less is best, so you don't have to use that many. And you'll still get the same effect. What I'm going to do with the rest of these cranberries is probably I'm going to dehydrate them. Or make some kind of relish with them. And they also keep their beautiful color when you make candles with them. They do not turn ugly color. I have no idea why they don't. It seems like it preserves them. I've had these candles six months and they still look as fresh as the day I made it. So I do not know why, but they do not seem to age when you make candles with them. So there you go. I have all of my cups with a small little layer of the cranberries on them. And as soon as our white wax is done melted I'll show you how we pour it add some scents we're gonna add some black cherry to it now I didn't have any cranberry scent so the black cherry is what it's gonna have to work for now and then what we're gonna do is we are going to fill our cup about an inch to the top with the clear liquid wax and it is going to turn into a nice pretty white color now we're leaving it an inch at the top because we're going to add then the mulberry wax on the top to give it a ribbon look. So what we have to do is we have to wait until this wax is fairly hardened before we add the mulberry. Let me finish pouring these. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, if a couple of the cranberries are floating on the top, you can go ahead and just remove them. Oftentimes you wonder at the thrift store what I do with all the little things that I buy. These were 60 cents, a pack of these. I don't know what it was used for, but what I'm using it for is to make our wicks nice and straight. So we're going to put these against each wick to make it nice and straight because we want our wick straight when the wax hardens. Let me give a little space between them. And I bet you're wondering how this is all going to turn out. And you will be very surprised how pretty of a product this looks when you're finished. All right, so for it to harden enough that we can add the other wax, it will be about a half an hour. And I'll get back to you and I'll show you what See, it looks like when we add The them. candles have um, partly gotten hard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our maroon colored wax and we're going to pour that on the top of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to do this a few times because your candles will dip in the center when they cool. So we're just going to keep adding the wax. So we're going to, I'm going to continue to fill all of these and then I'll show you what it looks like when they're all finished in the final product. So my friends, I want to share with you the end product. All we do is we peel the paper away and it's going to show a beautiful candle. This is the most fun part of the project is opening it up like this. There you go my friends. This is what they look like. Do you see the fresh cranberries on the bottom? And mm, they smell so good. So there you go my friends is a fresh cranberry candle. There you go my friends. I hope you enjoy this project as much as I enjoyed making it. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!